After inviting your friends through Steam and they join the server you're on, press P, then create clan, give it a name, give it a message, and to invite your friends to your clan, you have to type in the name that they chose for their vampire. First thing you want to do after leaving the starter dungeon is kill every single skeleton, ghoul, and zombie you see, because we are going to need as many bones as we can possibly get from this area. Make sure to hit these graves over here, they give some pretty good loot. As soon as you get 30 bones, click claim up here, press tab, go to crafting, and craft yourself a bone sword. Collect every single rat you see, because they're going to be used to create healing potions later on. Combat's pretty simple just hold the left mouse click to attack when the enemy is about to attack you can do two things you can either dash with space or press c to counter which heals you and does damage to the enemy after killing three enemies with the bone sword claim the quest on the top left press tab go to the crafting menu and make yourself a bone ring press r to attack with your shadow bolt do this twice and claim the quest on the top left. Continue attacking, hacking, slashing everything. Collect all the shit you see on the ground. You can press F on these containers and click take all to take all the loot inside of them. Next up, press tab and craft yourself bone guard leggings and bone guard chest guard. After clearing the zone, you should have like 15 rats and at least 250 bones. Come to this gate and press F to enter the Fairbane Woods. You can either go east or west. Let's go west. That's east. And once you're ready to leave this area, come to the edge and press shift. Once you jump off, you won't be able to go back up there. Now that we're in the Fairbane Woods, we're going to look for some wolves. Lower its health, dodge its attacks, and once it says F to feed, press F on it, and you will drink its blood. This increases your blood pool to 10 out of 10 liters, and it changes the blood type to creature. Depending on the quality of the blood you get from the creature, the better the benefits you'll have. Currently, it's only 8%, so it's only level 1, so I only get 3 to 15% movement speed increase. By killing it, you also get blood essence, and this is vital for a lot of crafting in the future with your base. If you ever need to heal yourself, just press Control and click Blood Mend. This will consume your blood pool, but will increase your health. Make sure you're out of combat while you're doing this too, or it won't work as well. Once you've acquired 6 animal hide create the bone guard gloves and the bone guard boots claim the quest on the top left and craft yourself a bone axe now that it's daytime the sun is quite dangerous once you exit the safety of the shadows okay bear i'm trying to do some fucking commentary anyway the sun really isn't that dangerous like just stick to the shadows and you'll you're chilling it takes a couple seconds of being in the sunlight for the sun to start killing you like like it does this it starts glowing hot red and then it starts damaging you. Equip your bone axe and start chopping trees. After chopping down three trees, claim the quest and craft yourself a bone mace. Equip the bone mace and start chopping down these rocks for stone. Be wary of the sunlight. You are a fucking vampire. This right here is Blood Rose. If you see it, mine it, you're gonna need it. You can mine these stone ruins for some pretty quick stone. After smashing three rocks into pieces, claim this quest and you can now start building your base. Press M to open up the map and these flat, grassy areas are perfect for bases. Press B to open up the building menu. We're going to craft a castle heart. Takes 30 blood essence and 240 stone. Place it right there. And also build three borders, which requires two blood essence and 20 stone each. One, two, three, four, five. Why not? Press F to interact with the castle heart and put at least one blood essence inside of it. It's right mouse click to transfer between an inventory and the storage. So this castle heart is pretty much the TC from rust. This is the soul of your base. If this gets destroyed or you run out of blood essence in it, other people can claim the entire base as their own. Claim the quest on the top left, press B to open up builds, come here to palisades, and build three walls. One, two, three. Then place a wooden coffin and a small stash. Claim the quest on the top left, press B to open up your building, go to refinement, and craft yourself a sawmill. Approach the sawmill, press F on it, and put all your wood in here. This will make planks over time, and planks are necessary for a lot of craftables in the future. While that's processing, chop down a lot of trees and stone around your base. Get all the planks your sawmill just made, press B, and we're going to build a simple workbench. Q and E to rotate, space to cancel building. Place that down, put like 500 wood inside of the sawmill, while that's processing, let's go kill some animals. By the way, you can left click while feeding to do like a glory kill on, an, on a creature. Currently, I'm out of blood. I'm 0 out of 10 liters. So I'm slowly losing health. I won't die, but I will go to 1 health, which will make it very easy for me to fucking die. So to fix this, go to a creature, suck them off. And now you've got a lot of blood. And we can press control to heal ourselves with blood men. Also, if your friend has no blood and you have some to spare, press control to expose your vein and they can suck you off. 
You can suck your friends off. Get the planks from your sawmill, go to the workbench, craft a reinforced bone sword, mace, and axe, as well as a plated chest guard, leggings, gloves, and boots. Once an item is done crafting, it'll be at the bottom here. Right click to transfer to your inventory. Claim the quest top left, and we can now build a blood altar. Press B, let's build that blood altar. Press F on it, click on the alpha wolf, and click track blood. We're going to track the first boss. Every five or 10 seconds, this thick red trail is going to tell you where to go. Just follow it. While you're following the trail, be on the lookout for any copper nodes. This is what they look like. We need copper ore to make copper ingots, which is the next tier of gear we're going to have. By the way, if you're up on a cliff like this, you can just press shift to jump off of it. Okay. For some reason, this motherfucker, Gore Swine the Ravager is... I always run into this bitch while I'm trying to find the alpha wolf. Do not fucking aggro this bitch. You will have a bad time. Just let him pass. Of course he's gonna fight the fucking Alpha Wolf, dude. You never know what's gonna happen in this game. Alright, the Alpha Wolf is almost fucking dead. Get it down. Hold that. Oh. Gotta suck him off and not die while this thing's attacking me. Pick up all the shit the wolf drops. It drops a decent amount of animal hide. After killing the alpha wolf, it's not a hard boss to kill. It's like killing a skeleton, pretty much. Claim this quest. Press J, go to vampire powers, and you have unlocked wolf form. Turn into a swift creature, increasing your movement speed by 45%. Taking damage breaks the effect. So pretty much you can press control and turn into a fucking wolf. Since when can vampires turn into wolves? Aren't they like enemies? Anyway, this is much faster than... uh walking as a vampire. Anyway, that's the tutorial. This is going to be like your first 30 minutes to an hour in the game, and then you're set to do anything you want.